Welcome back. Today's story is The Family Business. Story by Lenore Applehans. Pictures by Ken Lamag. Lucky felt like the luckiest raccoon in the world. He had a big, boisterous family. Mama and Pop and three brothers. Hobart, Zed, and Ike. The family worked hard to put tasty morsels on the table. They called it the family business. Every day, Lucky asked, When will I be able to join the family business, Pop? Not until you're big enough. So while his family went about their business, Lucky stayed home with their tiny TV. His favorite show was Everyone Loves Dancing. This week's dance was the Jiggery Jig. Breakfast time, Mama called. Lucky danced his way up to a table stacked high with meatballs, marshmallows, and moldy melons. May I have a piece of moldy melons, please? Lucky asked. Eat up, Mama said, so you can get nice and big. After breakfast, Lucky stood up tall for Pop. Look, Sam, you are finally big enough to join the family business. Lucky Brothers groaned. But he'll mess everything up. All Lucky does is dance. So, Lucky decided he better not mess up. First, they went to Cordy's Cookies and Pickles, while Hobart dove into the dumpster. Mama squealed in delight as he emerged with his paws full. Such rancid and robust radishes, she said. Hobart is my boy. Lucky loved the excitement of the family business, but Cordy shouting hurt his ears. At the fairgrounds, Zed cannibaled into a compost pile. When he surfaced with his spoils, Mama jumped for joy. Such stringy and mushy corn cobs, she said. Zed is my boy. Lucky liked being part of the crew, but this business made his head pound. The third stop was Farmer Oli's Orchard, where Ike darted under the fence to load up his arms with fruit. Mama took a big bite. Such mealy and wormy apples, she said. Ike is my boy. We're gone. Be gone. Lucky was beginning to have second thoughts about the family business. It gave him a giant stomachache. Back home, Lucky did not dance a jewelry jig or a waltz or even a polka. He stamped his foot and said, Our family business isn't a business at all, and I don't want to do it. Lucky, you are part of our family and you will do as we do. Now go out and make us proud. Lucky didn't want to get chased by anyone for taking their stuff, but he did want to please his pop. Okay, I will try, he said, and left the house. First, Lucky returned to Cordy's with some coins he found. No one made a fuss when he bought a sticky bun and Cordy's, thank you sounded pleasant to his ears. But before he could bring it back to his family, he got hungry and ate it. Next, Lucky made his way to the fairgrounds. He hoped his sweetest expression could score him some popcorn. A kind lady gave him a whole bag. That didn't make his head pound at all. But before he could even crunch a kernel, a bird flew off with it. Finally, Lucky tried Farmer's Ollie's. Outside the window, he heard the sound of his favorite TV show. While everyone loves dancing, flash on the giant TV, Lucky thought about how his family watched the Varmint News every evening. If Lucky borrowed this TV, they could watch it in style tonight. Lucky waited patiently for Farmer's Ollie's children to leave the room. But suddenly, 
one of the children turned and screamed. Look, the cutest raccoon ever! Lucky didn't know whether to run away or play dead. So instead, he danced the jiggery jig. The children began recording a video. Lucky danced his heart out, imagining he was the start of Everyone Loves Dancing. Lucky had enjoyed performing for the children, and his stomach had not ached once. But he did not enjoy Pop's disappointment when he came home. Lucky, it seemed, was in no way cut out for the family business. After an awkward dinner, the family sat in front of the tiny TV to watch the varmint news. The news announcer appeared. Tonight's feels good story. Dancing Raccoon steals a little girl's heart, her brother's, and ours too. Wow, said Lucky. Maybe I didn't mess up after all. Now, whenever the family goes out, people recognize Lucky and ask him to dance a jiggery jig. Most of the time, they give him treats too. Such energetic and joyful dancing, said Mama. Lucky is my boy. Now this, Pop said, is what I call a family business. If you enjoyed today's story, please hit the like button. Thank you for clicking on Size Reading Time. Please like and subscribe. And make sure to hit the bell to turn on your notifications. That lets you know every time I upload. Thank you.